Hi everybody, here we go with part three of my collection update videos. This time it's going to be Marvel, mainly um, Avengers, with a few others thrown in. So on the first shelf, we have Captain America from the Age of Ultron film. We have the Mark 43 in the background. Next to Captain America, we have Black Widow from Age of Ultron. And behind her we have the Light as Guardian armoured version of Thor. So we'll take a look at Captain America first. I was going to get the Civil War version of this. Um, the only main difference was um, there's less white on the Civil War, Civil War version on the suit and he has a changeable mouth plate. Um, I've decided since then I'm not going to bother. All I'm going to possibly do is just buy the head sculpt for the Civil War version and just swap it out with this one. Just to give him that more dynamic sort of screaming pose mouth whenever I want to use it. This one's got the um, magnetised arms for the shield. Although I'm showing him with the actual arm in the shield. Just in case the magnets lose their power and the shield drops. But it is a metal shield. And this is a great looking Captain America. Probably one of the best on the market. Next to him, we have the Age of Ultron Black Widow. I love Black Widow. I've since uh, sold my original version of Black Widow from the Iron Man 2 movie. And I've just kept the three that you'll see in this video. These are the um, accessories that she comes with, her guns. Uh, she didn't really use them in the film. Down here we have Ant-Man. And you'll see the proper Ant-Man on video part four. But this is a really nice looking Black Widow. Not a hundred percent likeness in the face. Um, I have got the new version on order as well from the Civil War. Can never get enough of Black Widow. But this is probably one of the best Black Widows out there. Comes with loads of accessories, so you do get your money's worth with this one. So I'll put a little pause in here and we'll take a look at the two in the background. Okay, first up we have the die-cast Mark 43 suit. I did have the Mark 42, which is exactly the same as this, except for instead of it being mainly red and gold, it's mainly gold and red. Um, I sold that one. Uh, I didn't really want two similar suits, and I preferred the look of the more red than the more gold. So that one has been sold. This one comes with quite a few accessories. Got a couple of different head sculpts there, and the Ultron damaged Ultron there on the base and it does come with this say diorama base but this is a really nice looking Iron Man figure I have got another Iron Man on the way should be with me in a couple of days it does have light up features as well this figure next to him we have the light armoured Asgardian version of Thor this isn't the original base. Uh, the original base is a lot bigger than this, um, so it wouldn't fit in the Detoff, which is why I've just got him on the generic black stand here. Again, really nice looking figure. Um, it's two versions of this. You've got this one, which is the sleeveless one, and you've got the one with the silvery sleeves. So it depends on what sort of look you like. I prefer the sleeveless, ver sleeveless version, which is why I've got this one. And it's very, very similar to the Age of Ultron. I think the head sculpt's slightly different and a little bit different on the clothing, but apart from that, it's, it's exactly the same sort of figure. So that's the first shelf. We'll now move on down to the second shelf. Okay, on the second shelf, we have some more of the Avengers. We've got Black Widow, 
Ah, uh, not Black Widow. We've got Scarlet Witch from the Age of Ultron. This is the normal version that's released, and you can see that there's a spare head there. Um, I don't know if this camera will actually pick it out, but this one is a customised head, and the eyes have been painted red. Next to her we have Quicksilver and we have Vision in the background and next to him, which you'll see in a minute, is Hawkeye. So we'll take a look at Scarlet Witch first. Um, I've just pulled the skirt up a little bit more and uh, bunched it up round the back so it tightens around the legs. I just think it looks a lot better like this rather than how it was when it came out of the box because it looks very baggy, even though that's what it's like in the film. And she's got Ultron's heart there. On part four of my collection, you'll see um, a different type of um, Scarlet Witch. So check on that video for a newer version. Next to her, we have Quicksilver. I haven't done a video of this guy yet. Um, but I will do at some point. It doesn't come with virtually anything, just uh, some different hands and that's it. Um, he's got the, the right shoes on but they haven't got the um, Nike emblem on them because obviously they couldn't get the rights for it. So they just had to stick with these sort of trainers. But it's a nice looking figure. Um, if you want to complete your Avengers lineup, then he's a good one to have. A nice looking figure, good face sculpt. Just had to have him in my collection. So as always, I'll put a little pause in here and we'll take a look at the two in the background. Okay, first up we have Vision. Don't think a lot of people have got this figure. I just wanted him because I wanted to complete my Avengers lineup. I'm not too big on collecting the villains. I mainly want to get the heroes. Which is why I've sold off a few of my villains, which you'll see mainly on the next video. They have brought this one out again for the Civil War film, uh, but I think it's exactly the same figure. So if you've got this one, you don't need that one does have a wide cape as well and next to him we have the Age of Ultron version of Hawkeye which is a bit of an improvement on the original Avengers version uh, the clothing is different but the head sculpt is much much better on this one I have got the Civil War version on order um, I wasn't going to get him I just wanted to keep one Hawkeye but um, I love the clothing on the Civil War version, the colour of it, because it is essentially the exactly the same figure, same head sculpt, it's just the clothing that's different, and a little bit of the um, accessories as well. But this is a really nice figure. So we'll now move on down to shelf number three. Okay, shelf three. We have quite a few here. This is mainly the um, shield characters. So we have the Winter Soldier version of Nick Fury with Pepper Potts in the middle. We have Agent Coulson in the background. Next to him, we have Maria Hill. And finally, in the front, we have the Winter Soldier version of Black Widow. So we'll take a look at Nick Fury first. This is the latest version, and the best, that Hot Toys have released. The head sculpt is ten times better than the original. Doesn't come with the amount of accessories that the original version came with. 
but I do have some of the accessories as you can see here I've got the light up case with the Tesseract this was released with the first version also down the front here I've got three more of the Infinity Stones I've got the one, the little ball there from the um, Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord figure exclusive version you've got the Ether, which I believe was released with Thor and then you've got the Tesseract inside the container which is also released with a Thor figure in the middle we have Pepper Pots this you can buy singly or as a twin pack with the Mark 9 Iron Man suit I did have the Mark 9 suit but I've sold it this is quite a nice little figure actually Pepper Pots and on her base you can see the Mark 42 um, helmet with Pepper Pots inside it and I've since as I said before I've sold the Mark 42 and next to her we have the Winter Soldier version of Black Widow which is a really nice looking figure this is the second of my three Black Widows that I have left in my collection I say she's my favourite female Marvel character my favourite male female my favourite my favourite male Marvel character is um, Wolverine which you will see in the part 4 video so I'll put a little pause in here and we'll take a look at Coulson and Maria ok in the background as I said you got Agent Coulson from the first Avengers movie and he also appeared in um, Iron Man and Thor, he's appeared in quite a few actually but this is the Avengers version with his light up gun just had to have this figure in my collection just to finish off my Avengers line and next to him we have Maria Hill who I haven't done a video on yet but I will do one again I just had to have her in the collection the clothing is a little bit darker than what you're seeing on the camera here it's just the light from the camera is making it a lot brighter than what it actually is but she's a really great looking character great figure So, to finish off the video now, we'll move down to the final shelf. Okay, moving on down to the final shelf. It's a bit awkward, I've got to lie down to do this. We have Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy with the Star Boost Iron Man suit in the background and Loki over in the, f in the other s side there. We have the Avengers version of Black Widow in the middle and a little rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's just try and get comfortable. Hopefully it will stay in focus. And we'll take a look at Gamora. I haven't actually, again, I haven't done a video on her yet, but I will very soon. I've sold my Star-Lord and my Groot. Um, I'm waiting to get the newer versions from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. But it's a great looking figure. Uh, a lot of people have had problems with the joints where they rip, which is why I've got her arms virtually straight. Next to her, we have the Avengers version of Black Widow. A lot of people's favourites, but not mine. Um, I need to do something about that hair to make it look better. But it's a huge improvement on the original release. And down here we have Rocket. 
Love this character. It's my favourite character in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Interesting to see how they dress him up for the second one. But I probably will get Groot again at a later stage. Okay, put a little pause in here and we'll take a look at the final two in the background. Okay, here we have the Iron Man Star Boost suit. So I have sold a lot of my Iron Man figures uh, recently. This isn't the base that he comes with, by the way. The, uh, the base he comes with is a bit big, so I've just put him on the generic black stand. Um, but as I was saying, I've sold a lot of my Iron Man figures, uh, especially my special edition ones, which I said I wasn't going to sell, but I just had to do it. Um, people wanted them off me and offered me pretty good money, so I ended up selling them. Next to him, we have quite a sought-after figure. It's the Thor version, the first version, should I say, of Loki. Second version was slightly better head sculpt, but it didn't come with what this one comes with. Uh, it doesn't come with the helmet and a few of the other accessories. This is, in my opinion, the better one of the two to get. Still quite a nice looking figure. It's probably one of the only villains I've got left in my collection. Other than, um, if you can call her a villain, Catwoman. Really, I think that's about it for villains for me. Um, oh, I've got General Zod as well, but you'll see them in the next video. And there's my camera light just gone off. So I'll just put a pause in here and we'll take a final look over the cabinet. Okay, there we have cabinet number three. So sorry for the darkness, but the light of my camera has just switched off because it's getting quite hot. Um, I will have to try and put some lights in my cabinets at some point. So yeah, there you go. It's part three. Part four will be coming up very soon. So until then, as always, thanks for watching and see you soon.